Hi, it's Sean, the Fluency Awesomizer, and this is Decoding Multisyllabic Words, episode 44. Speaking of fours, I have four words I want to take a close look at today. Let's get started. I want you to read these words right out loud as I show them to you. What's this first one? How about this? This. Last one. All right, I'm moving pretty quick. Were any of those tricky to read? If so, I want you to keep watching. I'm gonna demonstrate some great decoding strategies that you can use when you're stuck on unfamiliar words when you're reading independently. But first, a quick reminder of the fable, the tortoise and the hare, and the moral slow and steady wins the race, which is great advice when you're stuck on big unfamiliar words like this one. You can think of these words as races. There is a finish line. And if you come along to a word like this and you read like the hair, you might zip through it really quickly to get finished fast. That's where mistakes can happen. But if you read like the tortoise, you can take it slow and steady when you're trying to decode these big unfamiliar words. That patience is definitely going to improve your reading. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the four words that I showed you, starting with this one. All right, I wanna demonstrate that it's okay to start at the end of a word, if you're stuck on it, get your fingers out. And I can see at the end of this word, it looks like vice. But that S often makes a Z sound. So it's either vice or vise. And back in the beginning, there's M pro. Yeah, this is the word improvise. And the root is Latin. There's a Latin root pro vices right there, right? And in Latin, that means to plan ahead or prepare. Put the prefix M in front, it kind of turns it into the opposite meaning, not plan ahead, uh, meaning you make it up. Kind of like if you're having a party, you didn't plan ahead, you just make it up. Over time, that became the French word, improvisé, improvisé. That's where the Z sound of that S comes from, the French. So it became an English word, improvise, which means to make it up as you go, as if it's unrehearsed. So you improvise, improvise. All right, not to be confused with this word. Going to the end, I can see the word prove. That's a sight word, prove. Tricky, that O-V-E makes it look like it might say prove. It rhymes with groove. You need to know prove when you see it. There's proves, and yeah, this is the word improves. And that is a verb, root word improve. The root of that is en prow. I think it's pronounced that. It's an old French word, en prow. And see that E, over time that E turned into an I and the W turned into a V. And in English, we have the word improve. That's where it comes from. So improve the verb, we just put an S and that is the word improves. All right, two more words. Again, it's okay to start at the end of a word sometimes if you're stuck on it, especially because I think we can all see the beginning of this word is time. This word looks like it has line in it towards the end, and lines, but that's not lines. That's the, that's the suffix ness at the end of this word. Back in the beginning, there's time. In the middle is li. This is timeliness. It's an abstract noun, it comes from the root time. And you put an L-Y at the end, you get the adjective timely. I'm sure if anyone who uses a school bus hopes it arrives in a timely manner, timely. So put the suffix ness at the end, something about that doesn't look right. So what we do in that case with timely, it ends with a Y, we drop that Y, Make it an I, and then we add ness. We have the word timeliness. Not to be confused with looking at the end of this word lines. Yeah, this is timelines. Comes from the compound word timeline. You might be familiar with that from informative text, social studies, and put an S on the end. You have the plural noun timelines. All right, that's it for today's video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or follow me on Facebook for more helpful decoding videos like this one. And if you go to my Facebook and my photos, there's a great album full of reading challenges I've written to help you decode, practice decoding, 
and the Awesomeizer Fluency. And if you haven't subscribed or liked or followed yet, search the Fluency Awesomeizer and you'll find me. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Come back and see me soon. Bye.